Hi, my name is Mrs. Chu and I am the director of the Academic Support Center. The Academic Support Center has five main parts to it. The first part is um, the Academic Support Center is the house of the Writing Center. So students can sign up to come here and get work, on, get help on their writing assignments. Um, every college has a writing center, so if a student can learn to use a writing center here at BA, then he is going to be much better off when he gets to college. And I guarantee that any time a student sits down with a writing coach to work on a paper, that paper is going to be much better and get a better grade than if he had not. The second part of the Academic Support Center is the Math or STEM Lab, and that is not located up in the Academic Support Center in Humanities, but it is down in the Hamlin Center um, with the Math and Science classes. And that, just like the Writing Center, is open during the day, and students can stop in there and get help with math and science um, assignments or projects. The third part of the Academic Support Center is it's the place where students who have disabilities or ADHD would come to get accommodations in the classroom or to transfer their accommodations on the SAT or the ACT to Bridgeton Academy. So any student who has any sort of a diagnosis should register with the Office of Disability Services here in the Academic Support Center to make sure that he can get the accommodations he needs to be successful here at BA. The part of the Academic Support Center is that we run a program called Focused Academic Coaching. And that is a separate program for students. There's an additional charge for that program. Um, and students who are enrolled in that program meet with an academic coach twice a week for about half an hour. And they talk about um, mostly executive functioning struggles, such as time management, organization, um, study strategies, um, exam preparation. Um, Really, it can depend on whatever it depends on whatever that particular student needs to be successful or needs to work on um, in order to be successful. Most of the students in the program have been diagnosed with ADHD or a learning disability, but not all of the students in the program have a diagnosis. Um, so there are some students without an official diagnosis who um, have been have said that they struggle with executive functioning. The last part about the Academic Support Center is it's a place for all students, whether or not um, they are enrolled in the academic coaching, to come and get extra support for classroom struggles. So any student can walk through the door and ask for help with time management or organization or anything else that is, is providing an obstacle for that student in his academic